Phyllis Sampler dead at 67 Phyllis Sampler, ex Donna, Another World, ex Renee, Days et al, has died at the age of 67 from a heart attack. The news was posted on the Instagram page of her friend and former co-worker, Nelson Aspen, ex Albert, Search for Tomorrow. He posted, heartbroken to receive the call today, that my dear friend, Phyllis Sampler, has passed away from a heart attack, just shy of her 68th birthday. Heartbroken, to receive the call today, that my dear friend, Phyllis Sampler, has passed away from a heart attack, just shy of her 68th birthday. That explains why I didn't hear from her yesterday on my own birthday, we always celebrated as Cancerian siblings. She was an amazingly energetic, loving and loyal friend. I first met Phyllis in 1987, when we were both working on Another World. She joined the cast after successful runs on Days of Our Lives and the primetime serial rituals. When I moved to Law in 1990, she generously let me live in her beautiful Hollywood Hills home, and we became even closer. So close, in fact, that we wrote several screenplays together and bred beautiful Abyssinian cats. I think that over the decade of the 90s, I spent more time with Phyllis than anyone else. She was as wickedly funny as she was vivacious. Phyllis was always a complete original she went on to a very successful voiceover career and was always hopeful that Days of Our Lives would invite her back. Shame on them for not doing so. She was a fan favorite and one of the most hard-working, diligent people I've ever known. She gave 1000% to anything she did. In a fickle business like entertainment, I'm proud that we stayed so close right up to the very end of her life. Cherish your loved ones every moment, folks. The last time we saw each other in person was right before the COVID lockdown in February of last year. I was performing my cabaret show in Los Angeles at Rockwell. Always supportive, she was there, and I surprised her by singing the Another World theme and bringing her on stage with me. We were both in tears by the end of the song Phyllis was convinced she was the reincarnation of Anaskew, an English writer and poet who had been put to death during the reign of Henry VIII. So I am going to be keeping a sharp eye out in case she comes back as someone new. If anyone can do it, 